What we're talking about today is the MySQL database backup and restore uh, utilities. And essentially the format of the backup utility is MySQL dump minus U then a username that has privileges to the database involved and a password for that username and then the database name and then what's known as a redirection operator specifically it redirects the standard output and this gets redirected to a file and the file name is uh, here and the .sql means it's a batch file or a script file specifically for MySQL that contains a collection of MySQL commands that can then be executed in a batch mode for instance by a source command and then the restore is almost identical except it just calls the MySQL server it has the username and the password and the database the same way and this time the redirection operator is going the other way so it's redirecting the standard input from this file that we created, the .sql batch file. And these commands run in what's known as the DOS box or the command prompt. And the DOS box is what computers, PCs used to be before Windows, before you had a graphics user interface. It's just a command line interface and in order to use the DOS box you need to be able to locate commands all over the computer and you do this via a global uh, environment variable called the system path and we're going to look at how to add to the system path in order to use the DOS box correctly and then I also show uh, etc directory navigation dot bat files and uh, slash uh, etc directory I have in order to jump around in the DOS box and go quickly to very long directory and subdirectory names and finally we talk about starting the WAMP server because none of this will run without the WAMP server WAMP stands for Windows, Apache, MySQL and PHP and in order to implement the local host which is what we're doing here in fact you can put a minus H for host and then local host on this line but it just defaults to that so it's not really necessary but in order to implement the local host you're going to need the Apache web server and the MySQL database server so in order to start the WAMP server we go down to the WAMP server icon on the task board bar and double click on that and for some reason lately it's putting the uh, message box in a, a re minimized manner but click on that and say yes and then you'll see the icon is originally red and then it turns to sort of an orange or a yellow and then to a green which means the WAMP server is now running and what we want to do since I have been using Doug as the username and my password is a password and I sort of don't want to reveal that so I know for security reasons what we want to do is go to uh, PHP MyAdmin and create another user which just has privileges to the DVD based database and normally you click on PHP MyAdmin here but for some reason my 64-bit computer can't handle that so uh, I it apparently can't find it for some reason so I've created a link in a regular browser I just click on uh, PHP MyAdmin to get there that way and what we want to do is select the uh, DVD base and then go to privileges and this shows all the current users which really there's just Doug which is a clone of root and root and click on add new user <clears throat> and we'll just call the username user and 
the host will be localhost. which is just the local Apache and MySQL servers and the password will be password and I'll retype that and then basically just leave selected to grant all privileges for database DVD base so that won't give us any global privileges but it'll give us local privileges on that database and then hit go and that generates this command uh, create user user at localhost identified by and this is password I'll let you know and then grant usage on actually this says uh, everything which isn't good <laughs> but then oh grant usage okay and it says grant all privileges on just the DVD base to the user at localhost so basically this just gives us local privileges to uh, the DVD base to do whatever we want including the backups and restores we're talking about here In order to bring up the DOS box, I just uh, click on this shortcut I have on the taskbar. But you can go to uh, the start button and all programs and I believe it's something like utilities and DOS box if you don't have a shortcut created. And I have a directory called etc. which I can go to by typing et and this basically consists of a whole series of bat commands and some exes but the uh, the essence of most of the the bat commands which is a batch uh, ms dos which is a collection of commands that get passed to ms dos is i have uh, uh, just uh, a a CD command for change directory and it basically allows me to jump to different files within the DOS box really easily different directories and subdirectories so if we look at one of these I have a shortcut for notepad called in which is also a dot bat file and dbb dot bat is a bat file I use to go to uh, my backups directory that I just recently created and that's actually MySQL MSB DVD base for DVD back backups and then backups so it's pretty long it take me a while to type that in especially if I had to do it over and over and the first line just says at echo off which says don't echo these commands to the screen and the second line just goes to the C drive the second line, the third line does a CD or change directory to this directory and then the third line does a CLS which clears the screen. So if I actually type in DBB you see I go immediately to this directory and that it's very hassle free. The only trick is you have to remember the shortcut. And if we one of the problems with implementing something like this is the command prompt has to be able to find the etc directory and in order to find directories you need to find you have to go down to uh, the start button and to uh, control panel and go to the system icon and advanced system settings and then within the system properties the, you need to click on the uh, advanced tab and on environment variables and go down to the uh, I think I passed it there we go the path and you can click edit and I don't know how well you can see this but uh, if I hit home 
You see one of the first things I have on the path is C colon slash WAMP slash bin slash MySQL slash uh, MySQL 5.5.20 slash bin and this directory will probably be different on yours if you have a more recent version of uh, MySQL and then another thing I have on this path probably if I can scroll forward here alright I'm not sure it's worth it there it is is a C colon backslash etc which allows me to access these etc commands but it's really important that I have the uh, the WAMP uh, bin MySQL reference because I'll need that to get to both MySQL command and the MySQL dump command so since I already have those on the path I don't need to add those I usually just copy them from the uh, DOS box and paste them into the the path rather than typing that whole thing but having done all this prelude type in uh, MySQL dump for the backup and then minus P user minus or minus u user rather u user minus p password and then the name of the database dvd base and the redirection of the standard output operator or redirect output and say a name like dbb.sql and if we execute this command and there aren't any errors it just comes back right away if we do a directory of what's on this directory now you can see I, we did it I did a back backup yesterday with quite a bit longer name and then this is the file we created today and if I actually do uh, n to uh, notepad this you see it's a generated uh, uh, SQL batch file or SQL script and the first thing it does is it drops a table if it exists of DVDs and then creates the table DVDs and these are all the fields and the constraints and whatnot we have on that table and it does a huge insert into DVDs of all the values that we had in the database which I think I had almost 700 and then it does a drop table if exists of genre creates that table with the field values and the primary key and so on and then does an insert of all the uh, fields we had on uh, the, all the field values we had defined for those records and finally it does the uh, drop table of location and create table of location at, with the location ID and name and then inserts the values we had for those fields so basically if you don't have those tables at all it'll create them and it'll overwrite them if you did have them. It'll drop the tables. And in order to do a restore, if we wanted to do a restore, we just say MySQL, which is the general command for the MySQL interpreter, uh, minus U user, minus P password. Of course, these would be real usernames and passwords the database name and then a redirection of the standard input instead of the standard output and we'd reference this uh, batch file or SQL file and this would basically interpret the command file and recreate the database do a restore in other words but we don't want to do that since we already have that on here 
I actually copied the backup I showed you before that had the date embedded in it and transferred it over to another computer and created that database with that computer. And one warning you need to have about that is you need to create a blank database of that name. Otherwise you'll get an error. You know, it's, it doesn't do a create database on the database. So go into PHP MyAdmin and create that database before you do the restore. Well, this is sort of a prelude to uh, two videos I'm going to do on uh, MySQL connector slash net. Where instead of doing this in the DOS box, we do this from uh, the C Sharp program with the uh, MySQL connector slash net reference. And that's actually the tie-in to MySQL's connector slash net. If you're wondering why I'm doing all this talking about backups and restores and pure MySQL information, it's that you have to know this before you understand the next two programs. Well, I hope you enjoyed this program and learned a lot. And I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe.